Hello, and welcome to One Cool Thing, the worst fashion show on Facebook. Uh, we are, uh, well, normally this is the show where every day PCMag.com shows you one cool thing, which we are testing out in the PC Mag Labs. But today, as happens occasionally, we have Will Greenwald here wearing an obscure piece of nerd clothing, which we will show you, uh, and uh, you can decide whether it is the clothing for your kind of nerd as well. Uh, now, of course, we have uh, Social Pete on the con, as usual, taking your comments and questions. Let's have a freewheeling discussion about anything technology that you would like to have. Uh, Will knows many, many things about many categories of technology, and I can answer many questions wrong, and uh, feel free to do so. Uh, but uh, let's get to the product that we have here today, yep. uh, which is the hoodie you're wearing. <clears throat> this is the Scotty Vest hoodie. It is the new one. Uh, we reviewed the previous one last year. This is much more overbuilt and it has twice as many pockets. And if you know anything about Scotty Vest products, that means this is a ton of pockets. Okay, so let's let's roll backwards a bit and right. talk okay. about what is Scotty Vest? How long has it been around? What is its signature? Scotty Vest has been around for, well, a while. And their signature is they make clothing with a whole lot of pockets. So you can carry all of your tech. So like, you know, notebooks, Tablets, phones, cameras, glasses, passports, they have pockets for everything in every garment. And uh, we've been impressed by a lot of the ones we've seen just because you can hold a lot of stuff in them. And now what kind of garments do they have? Do they have, is, is, it, is it just hoodies or do they have jackets, do they have pants? What do they, what are they? They have of? hoodies, they have jackets, they have uh, hats with pockets, they have, I think, boxers with pockets, they have a lot of windbreakers with tons of pockets, vests. Like, if you can wear it, they probably make something that has more pockets than usual in it. Now, in the hat, could you put chips in one pocket and dip in the other pocket? That'd be cool, but probably not. It's a baseball cap. But oh, if they make okay. a cowboy hat, that'd actually make a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah. I, I had been hoping for a chip and dip hat. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so this hoodie, yep. how many pockets does it have? And are the pockets specifically designed for particular kinds of devices? Uh, how many they have is uh, it kind of varies in how many how you count the pockets, because there are pockets inside pockets and little Whoa. nooks and crannies. The uh, previous Scotty Vest had, depending on how you count, between 8 and 11 pockets. This is like 22. So, well first, you have the hand warmer pocket, standard on hoodies. You have a zipper pocket in here, which is great for carrying your phone. Or your these, phones. Yeah, these have tiny little pockets in there, so you can put change, and there's a loop for like a key ring or a lanyard. And then you open it. And this is where it changes a lot from the last Scotty Vest hoodie, which just had a ton of pockets on the outside. This is a lining with way more pockets. So, Laptop I'm, pocket. I'm carrying my Chromebook. I have my uh, Switch in here. Uh, I could have loaded it up with a lot of other things, but the thing is you don't need to load every pocket. It does like weigh you down and puff out and look kind of weird. No, it isn't. It's more like the variety of pockets you have as options. For so, the audience, can you do the full, like, we got the Mots show off? Yeah. There's a passport pocket, tablet pocket, uh, another phone pocket with a mesh window, so you can actually use the touch screen. Same here, phone. This one is for a really smaller tablet, I guess. Glasses with on a bungee, a microfiber cloth for mm -hmm. cleaning your glasses. There are just tons and tons of pockets going on here. Yeah, and, and one of the things one of the things that strikes me about this, and one of the things uh, that has always helped keep Scotty Vest in business, is that uh, if you are a frequent flyer, mm -hmm. uh, this essentially enables you to have an extra carry-on. Pretty because much, Because yeah. you can embed so much stuff in your, in your jacket that uh, you can then ha also have your carry-on in your personal item. It's like having another personal item that doesn't count for the purposes of the airline. And because it's zippered, you can put like pretty much everything in your pants pockets right in there and just go right through security and just put this on the belt. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, the conveyor belt, not let's, your belt. Let's, let's start taking some questions. Does it have to be that color? No, they have different colors. I think they have uh, black, blue, I think they have a dark gray. Uh, this is the, uh, the cotton one. They also have a micro, a micro fleece one, which is another five bucks. It's a full hundred dollars. These are expensive clothes. Not as expensive as some brands though, let's be honest. But um, yeah, yeah, that one only comes in black, though. The now, let's talk about durability here, because I'm yep. a little concerned that I'm looking at this hoodie. Uh, some of it looks like it looks like a little pilling is happening. I'm a little concerned about what's happening over here. Um, you know, would, would you consider this durable, or is it going to look like crap after a couple of washes? 
I consider it pretty durable, and this has gone through more than a couple of washes. Okay. And honestly, the pilling, I'd never use a lint brush. If I did, it would probably look a lot better. Like, mm -hmm. lint, lint comes out. This is a, this is a sweatshirt. There's going to be pilling. Mm -hmm. uh, the slight fraying on here, it's really a minor thing, and you'll notice the aglet on the end of here. It's metal. It's not mm -hmm. plastic. So there are a lot of really nice points. The... Uh, Zippers have always seemed strong. I've used a, lot, a couple different Scotty Vest garments, and the mm -hmm. zippers have always like stayed intact. Uh, it's pretty well made. I haven't had any big like seam tears or rips or is any there, real problems with the build quality. Is there any kind of water resistance? Are there any water resistant pockets? Uh, no, because it's just like sweatshirt cotton. Like some, well, it's okay. going to soak through. There's nothing really so there, plasticky on it. Yeah, here. so it's not like the the passport pocket isn't plastic lined or anything. No, but you can get. Um, there are other po There are other coats like the uh, SEV jacket. Uh, SEV um, the. It was another jacket I reviewed, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and a tropiformer jacket, which also turns into a vest. Those are waterproof. They're like a windbreaker material, mm -hmm. but this is just cotton sweatshirt. How about RFID blocking? No. Okay. Okay. Let's take another question. Can you turn just so people can see what the back looks like? It's just a. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There's nothing on the back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's 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 very plain. So there's no. Is there a logo anywhere on this? Uh, kind of. I mean, you know, the tag obviously, but somewhere. I like no logo. Yeah. Like I think no logo is good. Uh, you know, you might see like the little sort of Scotty Vest chevron uh, on here. Yeah. But yeah. that's the most you'll get. This isn't like a. This isn't like a supreme garment where it's like right on top or super now, dry or anything where the name needs to be everywhere. Now I noticed there's something happening with the cuff. What was going on there? Oh yeah, there's like a little hole in the cuff. Uh, yeah, I mean it's kind of like a oh. warms your hand a little bit more. Okay, like just, okay. You know, keeps your fingers free. It's super minor, but it's nice when it's cold and you don't have gloves. Is there any kind of system or any kind of hole to uh, pull your headphones out? If you have your, your phone with headphones in a pocket. Actually, yes, and through. that is Scotty Vest's big sort of gimmick on top of just having tons of pockets. Pretty much every pocket has at least some channel that goes into another pocket. There's a little hole here. There are channels running along here with bungees so you can run the... Uh, so you can run headset headphone cables. There we go. So wherever you put things, you can run the cable somewhere and it'll stay out of the way, tucked away. Now, uh... In terms of sizing and styling, yep. uh, what's the range of sizes here, and is there specifically a women's style, or is it all unisex? Uh, it's standard sort of American sizes, you know, small to various extra larges. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there are some women's garments specifically. Uh, a lot of it is unisex, but uh, they have a wide selection of different items. This is just mm -hmm. sort of one of their garments. Okay. Uh, let's take another question out there. What other garments does Scotty Vest make can you get like a hat? Oh uh, yeah, they let's, have a, let's pull it up on the sure. here. You talk about let's pull it up on the big screen. They have uh, baseball hats, vests, lab coats. Actually, I think they have pants. Uh, I think they have a couple of boxers with short with uh, things in them. Okay, look pullovers, like t-shirts. Ah. Uh, pretty much any kind of interstitials, like standard item you can wear. They're going to have yeah. A version of that with way more pockets than usual. On their site here, we have vests, jackets, hoodies, pants, shirts. Underwear? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. I, I, don't, I don't know if this is safe for Facebook. Um, let's, go, let's go over to the jackets. Um, yeah, so these are the jackets in yep. various styles. Uh, prices go up to, looks like prices go from like 75 to 250 for the jackets. Yep. And then they do have women's styles. Uh, vest, jackets, hoodies, pants, shirts, uh, dresses, and skirts. Let me see if I can find the, the women's style for the hoodie you're wearing. Uh, no, it is a it is a different it's a different hoodie. The Chloe. The Chloe, and you notice it's a it's more of a feminine cut. Yep. So yeah. So uh, now you've worn a lot of Scotty Vest products. How long do they typically last? Can you wear them for years? They last a pretty long time. I mean, I've you know I'm still using the hoodie from last year, which is a thinner one. It doesn't have like the lining with all the extra mm -hmm. inside pockets, but that's been going on pretty much fine with no fraying or tearing. I've noticed. Uh, I, the lab coat I keep around, um, I had another lab coat I actually got from Land's End on clearance that I monogrammed, mm -hmm. but um, there's a staining issue, but I got a lab coat from Scotty Vest, and mm -hmm. that's been going fine, and um, I also have been using one or two of their jackets, and they have been running pretty well. I haven't had any real, like, problems where I need to, like, get rid of the clothes. Great. Uh, let's take another question out there. Do you think you could fit an Xbox One X in there? Maybe. It's possible. Do we have an Xbox around? We could we could try right now. It's somewhere in the back. I mean, I can fit a switch. I could probably fit like four switches in there. But. Hang on, I'm looking. I'm give give me a sec. I'm gonna look for the Xbox. Uh, no, it looks like it's not back here. Uh, 
We got some. We got an Amazon Echo, but I think it's too round. You wouldn't want to put that in a. You wouldn't want to put that in a pocket. We're getting pretty loose here. Yeah. Mm. See, this is like too this round. Is a Nintendo Switch dock. I can. Okay, a dock Switch it in a dock. In That's easy enough. Uh, th that actually works. Yep. I feel like it's going to give you a bulge near the bottom. That's going to happen a lot if you just bog things down. Is there a maximum weight limit of what you could put in these pockets? How much can you carry? Okay, okay. Like, it's going to look stupid before it becomes too heavy to, like, sustain. Yeah. Let's, let's take another question out there. I was just about to ask about the weight sort of situation, but as long as there's yeah, no actual limit, like, you don't yep. feel like it's going to tear a hole in it. Not at all. It's, I've loaded this with a lot of crap. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, um, so, yeah, do we, any, any more questions out there? We actually have an off-topic one. Uh, it's for you, Sasha. After the controversy with Pixel 2 XL's screen, would you still recommend it over the Note 8? Moan. Okay. Over the what? The Galaxy Note 8. Oh, I thought you um, said Nookie. Yeah, the ga so, the ga so neither the Pixel 2 XL nor the Galaxy Note 8 has an editor's choice at this point. We withdrew the editor's choice from the Pixel 2 XL because of the widespread QA issues. The Pixel 2 XL has... Um, has a marginally better camera than the Note 8. However, I personally prefer the Note 8 at this point. Um, I have been disappointed by the relentless QA issues that I've seen from the Pixel 2 XL, which have developed after our review, whether it be, uh, the, uh, whether it be the screen issues or the more recent QA issue involving the oleophobic coating or the phones arriving with no operating system. Wow. Or, yeah, it just in general, the, the, the Pixel 2 XL, while uh, if you get a good one, it's good, there's a lot of amateur hour going on, whereas the Note 8, Every single person I know who got a Note 8 got a great Note 8 and likes it and it works well. What's so, the manufacturer who does the Pixel? I know that like it's it, LG. Really? Yeah, the huh. Pixel 2 XL is LG, and that's the same as the uh, the Nexus 5, isn't it? Yeah, and but and it's also the same as the LG V30. And the funny thing is, they use we some, like the V30. Yeah, they use some of the similar components from the LG V30. But so what's happening with the Pixel 2 XL? is that LG is acting as a contract manufacturer for Google. Right. And it sounds like Google. It sounds like the some of the the QA, for instance, mm -hmm. is on Google, uh, and they're not following through as completely as LG and Samsung do for their own products, and that's a little disappointing. So yeah, I, I am leaning towards the I am leaning towards the Note 8 after a month's worth of disappointing findings about the Pixel 2 XL. Why did Why did Google move on, uh, sort of going back to LG after using Huawei for the 6P Nexus? Um, I believe I they had, like I believe they had QA problems with Huawei. That's ironic. Maybe maybe if maybe if you have QA problems with all of your manufacturers, the QA problem is with you. Mm. So we're saying is we should get the iPhone uh, X instead. The the iPhone 10? The X. <laughs> well, where did that come from? I feel like, yeah. Is that an NBC trend? I the speaker in your I don't know. I feel no? like I, 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 over there. I feel like it was some sort of like like Pee Wee's Playhouse magic word thing that just happened. But uh, should you get the iPhone 10 instead? Well, so our editor's choice at the moment, I reverted it back to the Galaxy S8 because the Galaxy S8 is awesome and reasonably priced, and there is nothing wrong with it. Um, but if you are willing to spend the crazy amount of money, it's yeah, it's the Note 8 or the iPhone 10, um, and that really, def I mean, that really divides on your OS preference. Yeah. I can say the camera kind of eats, but I really like my Moto G5 because it's half the price of any of those. Yes. A third the price of the uh, X. Yes, you can, get, you can get an army of Moto G5s for the price of any of these other phones. Um, any more questions out there? We're all set. Terrific. So, uh, yeah, so the Scott E Vest The Hoodie. Um, it's which, pricey, but it's a really good hoodie that'll last you like the whole week. It work, I've been using this as sort of uh, when we're floating maybe 10, 15 degrees above freezing. It's a pretty good, you know, coat. And if you want to fly with a laptop in your pocket, this is definitely the way to go. Review is up on PCMag.com. Uh, we rated it four stars and editor's choice. Thank you all for watching. We will be back uh, tomorrow with another one cool thing for you.